Hey, buenos dias, que onda, amigos? Welcome back, John's Moto Garage. Today we're going to talk about two of my favorite things. You know I'm a fan of the Victory motorcycles. You also know I'm a fan of the club style Harleys. What if I told you you could find a club style Victory motorcycle? I was perusing the Craigslist looking for some new bikes and I came across this little gem here. Now I'm not going to be buying the bike and I'm not even going to be going out to look at the motorcycle. We'll go into why in a little bit, but let's take a look at this motorcycle. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it and I'm going to break it down a little bit. We'll see how good a job he did turning this Victory into the club style setup. All right, so as you can see here, it's a 2015 Victory Highball. And the first thing that just screams club style is obviously that front fairing that you have and you don't see that often on a victory but i have seen it on a few you've also got the little hand guard set up and as we look further you see the two into one exhaust the must have two into one looks like he's got a tbr exhaust so pretty good job there he's got the risers i think these are 14 no 12 inch risers with tr pro taper bars not sure what brand risers they are so so far everything's looking pretty good You'll know he still has the belt, so it's not a chain drive. He did not do the chain drive conversion. I wonder if you can even get those for the victories. That's one thing with Harley, you can get just about everything now. And there's so many different brands out there that are providing these uh, different upgrades. But of course, with that, you dump tons of money into it. So from a purely cosmetic standpoint, he hit a lot of the big marks. He's got the fairing. He's got the risers with the motocross bars. He's got the hand guards and he's got the two to one exhaust. If we read in further, you'll also note that he has front suspension, upgraded progressive springs and valve emulators. That's what a lot of the dudes do with the Dyna builds. And then he's also got Penske racing adjustable rear shocks, but you don't have the exposed shocks like you do on the Harley. Mine are hiding here. Oh, the other thing I noted, this bike has the forward controls as opposed to the mid controls. So definitely better for a taller rider. Anyway, so there you have it, the uh, club style Victory Highball. And the reason I'm not gonna look at this bike is the mileage is 51,000. And I like to stay below 20K, at least for bikes that I'm gonna buy, if not even lower. The dude's asking 7,000 bucks for the bike. It's a 2015. For me, the mileage is a little bit high. Like I said, not one that I'll be going out to look at, but leave a comment below. What do you guys think the Victory club style is that a bike that you would mob around do you dig it or not um, i know the club style itself is kind of a bike that you love it or you hate it as far as the styling goes you drop a comment below let me know what you guys think john's moto garage like and subscribe if you dig the content i appreciate the support and we'll catch you guys on the next one adios nos vemos